we need to talk about this new show. I'm so excited for it. I know fans are so ready for it to happen, but tell us what we can expect from it. Well, it's an immersive experience. I think you're going to turn on the television or when you're watching it and feel like you're checking in to the chateau because you're starting from scratch. You know, they they come to the chateau, these 12 young people, and um, they're people from all walks of life. It's diversity on every level. And uh, they're all very experienced. They had to be, I had to have everybody know exactly what their job was. There was no time just because, you know, you're pretty or you're gonna make great reality stuff. There was none of that. It was all about, you need to be very well qualified for your job. We're gonna hit the ground running. We're gonna literally open the chateau and within two days got guests coming. So that was a lot. So yeah. I couldn't have people that were like, well, I really wanna do it. I can learn. No, no, you gotta know what you're doing, but we're off. So um, there, it was a very strange experience in a kind of wonderful way. You see people stumble and you see the emotional growth and you see how people develop and you see people that I thought they were this way and they totally weren't. You don't really know somebody until you live with them. And then there were the guest experience, the poignant guest experience that couldn't afford to be ruined. And then all the shenanigans going on at the back of house. It was, yeah, it was a lot. Which it sounds like a lot of shenanigans ensued, Lisa. Were you surprised? I mean, you're no stranger to drama, but it looks like a lot of drama goes down. Well, yes, but it's not too, um, it's not like a, a complete debacle of that. It's also, we were successful in uh, accomplishing the guest experience. But also I had this idea that we'd have a young star. We'd do this show. But the whole experience would be where guests, if they wanted to invite some of the staff to party with them, as long as they finished their shift, they could do that. So it kind of enhanced the guests' experience because they were just coming with a few people and suddenly it was like a party. So that that was great, but I had to monitor that very carefully. So some people say, got yeah. a little turned away, but yeah. You handpicked this past what were the qualifications like you were just saying they had to hit the ground running so what were you really looking for well great bar experience telly had great bar experience i saw her doing all her cocktails and mixology and andre was the same um so they had to be very accomplished to be able to make a cocktail in you know a minute 30 that's it and you know had a great repertoire of they had to know what they were doing um housekeepers that really did know back of house and had worked and, and really understood all that it wasn't like oh i know how to make a bed i can be a housekeeper it was like no and they had to work very hard i have to say housekeeping probably worked harder than anybody because it just kept going looking after guests and it's also about you know they kind of started going the distance it was funny how involved the housekeeping got with with some of the guests you know that wanted to make their experience really really special um and then we had a wonderful chef anthony who i just said to him anthony i don't know what's going to go down chef i really don't but i'm begging you not to let me down because i could help with housekeeping i could help with bartending i could help with you know managing it but i can't be in the kitchen cooking for you know all the staff and the guests like three times a day so that was paramount to me they kept the kitchen Saying. What about Marciano? I just talked to him and he compared himself to the Jax Taylor of the group, which I was a little concerned about, Lisa. Did he compare himself to that? That surprises yes. me. Yes. No, I think he's, he's different to me. And you see him go on his journey and um, take responsibility, which is different. <laughs> um, Yes, it did get complicated, but that just because he acted like a bad dog. I mean, there's many bad dogs that all aren't like Jack Taylor. So, uh, yeah, he, he did kind of, it was a little inappropriate at some point. But, you know, he had the reputation in, in Vegas of being one of the best servers there that could turn the most tables. And, you know, that's what I was looking for as well. Okay, I'm glad to hear it because I do want to quickly ask, speaking of Jack's, Brittany and Jack's separation, were you surprised? Well, I thought if you'd asked me, you know, when they were getting married, what I mean, you just hope for the best for, 
fear for the worst, really. I think the indicator of future behavior is normally past behavior. But I just think once they had a baby and I was just hoping that he would take a step in the right direction. But I don't know who called it. I don't know who called it quits. I would imagine Brittany called it and it was because of Jax's actions. I don't know. But I haven't been into that because I've just done the reunion on Vanderpump Rules. and I'm sure yeah. which was wild in and of itself. <laughs> Now I'm doing a Gordon Ramsay show in London. Booked and busy. I feel like every time I see you, I'm like, you are the most booked and busy woman I know. But we're so excited for this new show. So thank you, you Lisa. Know what, Lauren, somebody just said to me, what television do you watch? And I thought, oh, nothing. I'm too busy. And they said, what book have you read lately? And I thought, nothing. And I'm thinking, what's wrong with my life? <laughs> you don't have time. You're a booked and busy woman. But like as a fan, I'm, I thank you for it because quality content all the time from you. Yeah, I think you're going to love it. You're going to check in and then you're you're going to be sad when you have to leave on episode 10.